Seven years ago, when I moved into my current house, I promised myself I'd build the ultimate home network. Seven years later, this is what I'm rocking. A mess. Cat 5e cables, a junk mesh system, everything sitting on the floor. Somewhere out there, my past self with the overkill network stack is looking at me and shaking her head. And she's right, I deserve the shame. Look, I used to be that person, the one who overbuilt everything. Fiber, redundant firewalls and battery backups, multiple VLANs, PoE powering everything from cameras to my electric toothbrush. Now, first gen mesh Wi-Fi, consumer grade hardware, cat 5 e like it's 2003, and dead spots in my own house. Dead spots, I'm the dead spot. This is like showing up to prom in a wrinkled t-shirt when you know you could have been the one in the silky red dress that turned every head. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, my Netgear Orbi RBR850 system. Back in 2019, this was the cool kid on the block, Wi-Fi 6, tri-band, and a pretty little spaceship design. It promised whole home coverage. Reality check? Half the time it struggles to cover half my house, and that's with an extra satellite. Don't even get me started on the firmware updates, or lack thereof. It's like dating someone who seemed perfect on paper, but then you find out they drop connections faster than they drop texts. When I moved in, mesh was the hot new thing. Cat 5 e was still good enough. And if you wanted 10 gig networking at home, you either sold a kidney or worked at a data center. Now, we've got Wi-Fi 7 on the market, multi-gig ports creeping into consumer gear, and 10 gig switches are no longer unicorns. They're just expensive ponies. Basically, networking went through puberty while I was stuck in middle school. So here's the plan. I wanna rip this all out and start fresh. Build a real network stack with a newer, better rack. Something fast, reliable, and future-proof enough that I won't regret it in three years when my fridge starts demanding its own dedicated OC3 uplink. And yes, I want 10 gig. I want a backbone strong enough to handle, well, everything I throw at it because right now my backbone is weak. I've been eyeing Ubiquity gear, a dream machine, new PoE switches, slick access points everywhere. And of course that 10 gig backbone so my Plex server and Synology NAS can finally stretch its legs. And future proofing matters. Plex libraries keep growing, 4K video is the baseline, 8K isn't far behind, VR streams need low latency, don't even get me started on the size of modern game downloads. One more Battlefield release and my Switch is going to throttle itself harder than an ISP on a budget plan. I need something with stamina, something that won't choke when I write it hard. So I want to hear from you. Yeah, you. Networking nerds, home lab aficionados. What should I build? Stick with Ubiquity, Microtik, a newer mesh system, should I just embrace the chaos and get Cisco gear that costs more than my car? My budget's flexible, but not insane. I also don't need NASA mission control, but I don't want Wi-Fi brought to you by Fisher Price or by Costco for that matter. I want the sweet spot, powerful, configurable, but not a nightmare to manage. So here's the deal. Drop your dream network stacks in the comments. Convince me, fight for your favorite setup like it's a console war. And when I finally do the rebuild, you'll get the full glow up from sad little Orbeez to a siren worthy network that'll make bits flow smoother than my satin sheets. Until then, please don't judge me too hard for my spaghetti cables on the floor of my closet. We've all been there, right? Right? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video. A huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. You're the backbone of this channel. And unlike my current network, you never let me down.